everyone, this is your girl Zoe B, and on today's episode, we have the Geek Squad. They're going to show you how they produce beats, and we're going to find out which artists they've produced beats for, who you may know. Only on the Zoe B Show. Please stay tuned. What's up, everyone? This your girl Zoe B, and here with me is the Geek Squad. Hey What's there. up? How you doing? Hey there. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Okay, the name Geek Squad. Tell me, how do you come up with the name? Okay. Uh, Geek Squad name was actually given to us uh, by one of our artists, or the guys we work with. And you know, just cause he was just saying the beats we have like techno, cool shit. And that's how I came from there. He just said, man, y'all just like the Geek Squad. It just kind of stuck, so. Right, okay. Like. I like the name Geek Squad. Very catchy. Okay, now, before you two linked up and became the Geek Squad, you were each other's competition. So tell me, how was that at first? Uh, at first, high school, four of us. I don't think I can say everybody's names, but we went in all day, every day, in the parking lot. Car door open and a crowd of people like who won, who won, and then throw your hands up. Everybody thinks who won, who got, who got the best beat. There you go. And uh, after we got through around senior year, two of us dropped off. Just became in jail. We were going to the same school anyway. Right. We was already friends from high school football and everything. Here we are. Now still competition, but amongst ourselves, pushing each other. That's good. And making each other better. So that's, that's what the whole beat squad is all about. We just push each other to get better. Not just for specific artists, just kind of for ourselves. Right. Now, you all have made beats for several local artists, too. Like um, Nate B and D Good, D Skills. Now tell me, how did you manage to catch up with them to have them listen to your beats? And, and, well, we actually have to catch some of the dudes, you know, slipping. Come through, come through, check out a beat. And they were all like, oh yeah, oh no, I'm gonna check this out. I guess they would believe when we really made beats until it came through. And they checked them out. Right. And they said we was really serious. So a lot of people know you all's name around campus. Geek Squad, Geek Squad, Geek Squad. Both of you aren't music majors, but you have such a love for music. Tell me, why, why aren't you all music majors? No. Uh, we just love music and we love to make our own, you know, have our own creative expression. I mean, I don't have a real musical background, but I love what I can do with right. machines and the sounds that come up, so it's all good to me. I don't have to be a major. Okay. Now, a year from now, where do you see Geek Squad? Uh, in the studio. Your my own home, studio. Right. Your home studio. On t-shirts and banners and pluggers and <laughs> everything marketing, marketing, what we do, um, in a better place. That's nice. what I see. Well, the fact that you all are still doing your thing right here is fine also. Yeah, it's not all about equipment. Right. I mean, we've been doing this for like, a That's not cool. And, 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 you know, we've been the same thing. We minor upgrades. But it's more about the quality, I guess, and how much we put into it. So, okay. A lot of work and and time, time and, and honing own, own our own craft, you know, coming up with our own special sound. And you know, something sounds unique to us, a Geek Squad sound. So, eventually, uh, it's stand, stand apart from all the rest of the people who just make beats. Okay, now, for now, just you two. Do you all ever plan on adding more people to Geek Squad? Um, <laughs> actually, I mean, well, I mean, it's always going to be us too, but right. the squad is more than just producers. It's our, it's our entire crew of guys, man. They all contribute so far to you know, how get to us, you know, create creatively, motivationally. You know, everybody you know, play a little part, man. And at the end of the day, we all just brothers, man. We all guys. Okay. Squad just, just not producing. <laughs> but um, 
would you like to know if we can have like other artists or producers along oh, with yeah. us? Oh yeah. I don't know if we're gonna add any more producers. Artists probably. Okay. Now, if you had any choice of artists, who would the artists be that you would love to like, listen to your music? It would be cliche to say a major label person. Yes, I mean, like, everybody, I said, everybody, want, everybody want Wayne on the track. <laughs> everybody want what? Drake. They want Kanye on the track. I get over there myself. You never know. I get over there myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that probably be who I'd like to hear the most. Us. You know, us on the track. But they would want to be on the you know, the remix album. Okay. Now, for the fans out there and other local artists to link up with you, how can they do so? You can check out SoundCloud, backslash Geek Squad, uh, G-E-E-K-S-K-W-A-D. Uh, email us, geeksquad101 at gmail.com. Onecoolgeek.blogspot.com. <laughs> Definitely keep, go there. Keep you updated on uh, whatever we got shaking. And on uh, Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Hey, at Geek Squad. Squad. Same spelling. Yeah, or uh, at underscore Ill Smith. At The Good Human. Holla at us, man. We got business cards, so we'll catch you walking around. <laughs> we got a lot. You can reach us in many ways. <laughs> Thank you for your business. Oh, this has been the Geek Squad on the Zoe B Show. Stay tuned because you get to hear some of their hottest beats. Now it's time for Zoe B's Smart Mouth. In 1979, the Sugar Hill Gang released Rapper's Delight. The Radical New Record went on to become the first hip hop single to make America's Billboard Top 40 list. This has been Zoe B's Smart Mouth. Show. For more information as to how you can become a guest on the Zoe B Show, please email Zoe B at T H E Z O E B S H O 
www.yahoo.com. That's the Zombie Show at Yahoo.com.